Hi, in this video I will show you how to add 3D elements to your 360 photos. We have created a website 360.visor.io for quickly uploading and sharing your 360 photos on the web. And I've now uploaded this photo. And when I click on the screen I get this menu on the top right corner. And in the middle we have an edit button. And this edit button, let's click it, it will open Visor's powerful interface. And using that interface, we can add 3D objects to our 3D scenes. So here is my scene. And on the left here, we have this floating menu that's titled Objects. And it has folders. So let's open the first folder and add the very first item in the menu, uh, 3D model. So now let's change to the editor camera from the top bottom, uh, bottom right corner. And we have see we can see that this flamingo object was added to our scene. Um, it's now black because there isn't any light source in the scene. So let's add a light source. The way we do it in Visor is with our visual programming language. So let's press Tab to reveal the visual programming scene here. And the way we add things is that we connect them to the scene. The scene node is the gray one here in the middle. So now I need a light. So let's search for light. And I have some options here and I'm going to select hemisphere light. Here it is. And I'll just connect it to the scene. And let there be light. Here it is. And this big icon here represents the hemispheric light. And I'll just move it a bit so as not to block the flamingo. Let's press tab to reveal the, the visual programming interface again. And as we can see, hemispheric, hemisphere light has some options here. So intensity, color, ground color, position, and so on. Um, I'll show you how to, how to change those. Uh, for changing the intensity, we have to add a number there. So let's search for a number. And I'll just add the number node here, like this. And intensity is now 1, so let's change it to 0 0.1. As you can see, it goes with for less light. 11 would be very much light, so I think 1 is a pretty good number. And let's also change the color. So I'm going to search for a color picker. Like this, add it to the scene. And connect it to the color slot, like this. And we can change the color of the light. And the cool thing with hemisphere light is that we can have color which is the sky color and then we can have the ground color so I'll just reopen the patches menu here and search for another color picker like this so this will be the ground color let's put it to be like something like this and maybe the sky color could be more blue okay so now we have a pretty nice lighting here for our scene. Let's press tab to hide it. Um, so we have two camera modes here in Visor. We have the editor camera and the VR camera. So right now I'm viewing from the editor camera and that means I can see the VR camera here. So it's this guy wearing the VR headset. I can zoom in and out using my mouse wheel. And if I press the VR camera button here in the bottom right, I can see how, it, how the scene looks like from that point of view. And now the flamingo is kind of not in the view of the camera. So let's go back to the editor camera, select the flamingo and just kind of move it backwards. And now go back to the VR camera and we can see our flamingo here. And here I can move it to the right place. Um, in the top bar we have some other options here. We have scale and rotate. So I'll select rotate and I'll just kind of turn the flamingo around a bit. Like this. And let's do one more thing. Let's go inside the 3D model. So this is the flamingo. I can just double click this and give it a name flamingo. I'll go inside it and open the mesh options here. So how do we make it fly across the screen? So let's open patches menu and I'll just search for fly. Fly across the screen. Well, I actually have a preset for that. I'll just add it and connect it to the position. And here it is flying across the screen. Whoop, let's make it a bit slower. And let's actually pause this 
and select the flamingo and let's rotate him to face forward again and press play again and here he is flying across the screen well that was kind of fun um, in visor we have a nice selection of objects you can add to your scene this is a big library of default objects and in another video I can show you what kind of stuff you can build using these default objects and as always when you are done with your scene you can hit publish in the top right corner and you get a nice URL for sharing it in social media or sending it on your friends and as always you can view it in virtual reality quite easily on mobile you get this view VR button and so you can view, view your scene in your favorite VR headset. Thank you for watching, see you next time!